Portugal is the spiritual homeland of Ezelejo, these traditional ceramic tiles that are all over the country and give it this vibrant colour. The minute you get into Lisbon, you see Ezelejo everywhere on shop fronts and around restaurants and you know all these buildings have got these amazing coloured tiles. So I'm really excited about learning about modern day ceramics. What are they doing in Lisbon today? What are they making and what from the past is now still being practised into the future of this incredibly colourful city? Hello. Hi, I'm Marika. Nice to meet you. We're going to do a tiles in a contemporary way. Okay. And I'm going to be making them as beautiful as the ones I see on the street? Of course, it depends <laughs> on you. <laughs> so the technique is to paint with this kind of uh, ink that it's called Alta Fogo. You can do like uh, stripes, dots. Uh, yeah, okay, something, something not like that. You said we needed to add water. Yes, so what you do is just you pick a color, you mm -hmm. mix. It has to be a bit watery, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you just paint. How I'm looking at that okay. is if I mess this one up, I've <laughs> still got other, <laughs> other options. Your city is covered with the most amazing ceramic tiles. And are you like thinking about that when you're making your own art? The cool thing is that you always notice. If you see, even if you see it every day, you will notice. I'm struggling a little bit here and I have some tiles to go. <laughs> can you help? Okay. You, you can do three really nice ones to balance out my three really average ones. What happens now? We Okay, now we're going to put them in the kiln and they will be fired. Okay? Fired in a good weather. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Visiting Sedimento Studio is the most beautiful space to be able to go in there and make something and then bring that home. Say, you know, I made this in Lisbon um, with people who spend their days creating stuff for this city. What a great thing to be able to do.